Hi guys, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today we're going to talk about Bit Maestro from David Blake. Now, Bit Maestro is a um, audio unit plugin for uh, iOS. Uh, I received a lot of questions lately about what is the best iOS plugin for this and that. Some people are asking the best uh, reverb, the best EQ, the best compressor. I will do a video about it, but it's hard to say what's the best because the real question is, what do you want to do with these plugins? Uh, the best compressor for me for a kick drum in a specific song might not be the best compressor for you in a rock song on a guitar. So the best is a very, I would say, personal choice. But still, I understand a question, meaning which EQs or compressor are the one you should look for which are the best to start to you know shop for um, so I'm gonna talk about some of my favorites to show that to you why I like these uh, so today I'm gonna talk about bit maestro and I'll start with other weeks with other compressors whatever plugins just to talk about not the latest and greatest but those that I use because I like them and uh, because I'm working on an EP and I talked about how I use it in my uh, song on ARIA Pro. So now I'm going to be in ARIA Pro today uh, running Bit Maestro from David Blake. Now Bit Maestro, just so you just understand what it is, it's a, some would call it a bit crusher, a distortion using bit mangling, whatever it is. It's basically uh, you deactivate some of the bit uh, information of a digital sample. That is <laughs> great. I just love that. That type of noise, uh, digital artifacts noise, I love it. Um, I grew up uh, with samplers where the, they were doing some type of distortion like that and you would try to get rid of it. But I always liked that nasty sound, like distortion. I remember recording on the sampler and sonic mirage uh, and the mirage was wonderful because you could actually sample something but you have a control over uh, the filter before getting into the converter so you could create all of these errors uh, because now all the samplers after the mirage were basically there was a filter at the, at the entry point where you could, uh, you could not control it. It was di dictated uh, by the company, so it sounds good. But if you wanted errors, the Mihaj was able to do it. Now, I'll do another video about this because you really need to understand how sampling works and, uh, and the limits of the early days 8-bit samplers. Now, this Bit Maestro, actually, oops, I almost rip off my microphone. I'm Okay, that was the song I was starting to work last week. If I go directly into uh, this section here, and I want just to, I'm going to use just this section. I'm going to go here, loop section. I'm going to play in the loop mode. That's where I want to be. Now, this is the sound I want to tell you that. This is great. Listen to that. I'm going to put in solo. And it goes... I'm going to show you how it works, okay? You got this window here. If I, if I add nothing, that's my original sound. That's the original dry synth sound. If I bring the other one, and if I get rid of this one, I just keep that one. back big. I like that. It, it, it feels like you're going to lose the sound and it comes back. And so the way it works, let's bring that down a little bit. The way it works, um, if you turn around everything, what you have here is um, all the bits of the message, you know, bit number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have these and and go what oh, yeah the first bit means one or is uh, one this is uh, eight bit information you know 
uh, the first bit is one or zero the second bit is two or zero the third bit is four or zero the, you know and so on so the last bit number eight is 128 or zero if you want to know more about how to calculate in um, 8 bit um, write down in the comments I might do a video about just to understand these numbers what you can do here you can deactivate these message and look at the shape that you have here this is this flow of a natural shape that you should have if you open the filter you can actually cut the frequencies so uh, depending on what it is and right now it's a low pass filter you can have a low shelf and a high shelf so there's different ways to do it there's resonance you can use uh, and you can also have a delay again turn on or off and you've got sync or free running so sync to the tempo of the song and feedback or not okay right now I'm not going to use that I'm just going to go into the section about modulation okay so you've got if you get rid of the modulation zero 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 what you have you have still the crushing which is a distortion if you want and the sample rate you know you can bring down the sample rate so by default it's the clean original sound you play with the sample rate you get all these artifacts coming in of aliasing. So this is going to be nasty, or it could be, could be, it could actually be pretty cool. So let's. So that's one thing. Oh, actually, there's a drive. Let's not drive it. Let's just keep it like that, so it's round. Okay. Let's go to a hundred percent. Okay. Now, if I'm start, if I'm starting to get rid of some of the messages, right away you hear the destruction of the, the sample. The sound becomes, you know, and the the volume information is lost. So it just it becomes just loud. I mean, now there's no message. Just a 64, just a 32, just a 16, just the 8. So these are all different types of distortions. And this is just great. And you can combine them. And if you can, if you want also, you can invert it. So these are just inverted. Look at the value of the front. The graphic is just inverted. You know, invert. Now, if you play with this, you come in with some of the sample here. That is too much. Let's bring that. You can drive it. And then what you can do, you can actually use the modulation. Say, I want to send it to the drive. I want to send it to the sample rate. And you see the little graphic here of the zone where it's going to move. Maybe I want to send it to the frequency of the filter. Go like this. So for me, it's just, just wonderfully, for me, this is just fun. I mean, I just love that type of reaction, sound, noise. Uh, and then again, if you say, well, it's just too much, you actually can combine this with the original sound. You can combine with the original sound. So 
you have the original sound, you got your distorted sound, and you can actually add the delay. distortion, you have the clean sound, distortion, and reverb at the same time. So this is, I mean, it's a great little package. You've got all these uh, cool tools to make it noisy and, and moving. Um, and I'm using it on the lead in this case. Let's actually, I'm going to, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this on the drum now, just to have another idea of... Okay, so we have the drum sound. We're going to go into plugin. I'm going to add um, Bit Maestro. Here we go. original plus a distortion. Just a fun, noisy sound. That's it. That's that's what the Bit Maestro does. It just distorts your sound in a very nasty digital way. I personally like that type of sound. Um, I'm not sure it's for everybody, but for getting that grit, that noisy digital sound, I think it's one of the cool ones because it does what everybody else does in a way: sample control, sample uh, you know, sample rate control, and the filter with resonance. There's a drive, but the way you can control the wordings, which b uh, bit is not being used in the 8-bit messages, uh, is just, uh, this is really cool and, and fun to use. And in real time, you can actually do a lot of it. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I like the sound. I like the interface. I like the control. And um, that's the type of sound I enjoy. Of course, not on everything, but it's a great way to get that, I would say, harshness that makes a sound cut through a mix. So that is pretty cool for me. 
Uh, that's it. So if you like that sound, look up uh, Bitmaestro uh, from uh, Dave Blake, David Blake. And uh, that's it. Have fun. And if you like what I'm doing, thumb up, click on the notification bell, and share this with your friends. See ya.